Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you everything that I've been buying recently. If you follow me on um, Instagram, you'll know I've made a vintage account and I've literally sold so much of my wardrobe because I feel like I've wanted a refresh. So these are just some of the bits that I've rebought. If you do wanna follow me on Vinted, by the way, there's still a few bits left. It's at E-L-L-X Butler. Same as my Instagram name. But yeah, I've just got a big pile down here of everything that I've got over the past few months. I've got some accessories, some clothes, some jewellery, which I'll actually start with. So this is from a brand. They've actually sent me these bits, but they are so nice. So it's called DNX London. I'll put the link in the description box. So affordable. I don't think anything costs more than about £20, something like that. We've got this chunky gold ring here. This, which is my favourite. I absolutely love it. How stunning is that? Um, also got these chunky gold hoops and then I also got I need Liam to help me put this on because I can't do it because of my nails this is like my birth month gemstone whatever you'd like to call it I'm born in April so if you're born in April you'll have the same one as me but obviously each month has got like a different stone how stunning is that as well I absolutely love that I think it's so like cute and it looks really expensive and then the last piece where is it I got this one for mom Mum prefers silver jewellery, so I just got this little silver bracelet, but I would definitely check them out. If you're after some new, like, rings and stuff, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, these are really nice. I think that's, like, £15 or something. I've also got a discount code as well, which is EL20 for 20% off your order, so you're saving even more. But yeah, right, let's get started, because I keep looking down here, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out where to begin, but it's all just in a big pile. I'm just going to grab and go. I'm going to start with probably the most controversial item of the haul. These are definitely like a love or a hate kind of shoe. I love them, but I know you're not all going to feel the same way. So I love and live in my Birkenstock Bostons. I've got like the usual like nudie beige colour. Um, so I ventured out, got these for winter. I will not be wearing these if it's raining because I feel like they'll get dirty and they'll ruin. But on a cold, crisp, clear blue sky day, how stunning are these? Ah, oh, let me try one and show you. Can we see what I'm going for? They are the most comfortable pair of shoes ever. And now I've got ones that are furry, so my feet will be warm. I just absolutely love them. I think they're so, so nice, but please let me know what you think. Please don't unsubscribe if you hate them, but <laughs> they're so good. And they've got like a gold buckle and it just says Birkenstock. But whilst we're just in a pair of shoes, I've got two more to show you. So I'm just going to get through these as well. These shoes. Now, I was the biggest Samba hater probably in the world. I was like, I am never jumping on this trend. They're the ugliest shoe ever. But I needed some new trainers. And I felt, I kept seeing all the cool girls wear these. They were styling them so nice. And I wear influence. So... Not only did I get one pair, I got two. I feel like these, I don't have a black trainer. And they're a bit scary black trainers because you can't really wear your chunky white socks with them. But I feel like you can get away with it with these because they are black and white. And it goes with so much. With this outfit, like how cool is that? I feel like they do look really cool. What size did I get in these? So I sized up half a size in these. Um, I think I could fit in my usual size, but they didn't have them in stock. And then when I bought these ones, I just thought I might as well just get the same because they are comfortable. So we've got the white sambas and also the black ones. Let me just pop the black ones on to show you this outfit because please let me convince you because they make every outfit look cool, I think. I absolutely love them. Can we see? A little black bag, some sunglasses, some big chunky white socks. Moving on. I popped into Selfridges when I went shopping the other day and there's a new brand, it's called Fourth and Reckless. Now I've heard of this, I've followed them on Instagram for a while, but in my head I always thought they were really expensive and I've never actually looked, I'd just like saved for their Instagram posts and stuff. But recently I've actually been ordering so much stuff from there, I'd say they're probably like Zara price, maybe a little bit less than Zara, but the quality is really nice. So first thing I've got is this cap, £15 this was, and it's just a black cap that says Paris. Shall I ruin my hair? Is it worth it? I'm not going to ruin, oh my god, look how big my head looks. 
Um, but it's like, I don't like baseball caps, you know, the big chunky ones. I prefer ones that have got no structure and they're just like a bit flatter to your head. But for a black cap, with the outfit and the black sambas on, like such good quality as well. Um, also from this brand, which I will try on, if you're gonna get something from this haul, I say this every time, these, sorry if you can hear the noises as well. It's so hot, so I've got all the windows open upstairs, but motorbikes keep driving past. These leather shorts, I bought these and Lauren wore them when we went out because she didn't like her outfit. So I'm like, please put these on. I've just got them in the post. Um, and then she reordered them to my house, brand new for me because she loved the other ones. You will not get a better quality fitting pair of leather shorts than these. They're so comfortable. I have got a size 12. I'm usually a 10. I could have fit in a 10, but I thought, I don't want it to be tighter on my waist and give me a bit of a roll, do you know what I mean? But I feel like a 10 would have been fine as well. So maybe stick to your usual, unless you like a bit of extra comfort like me, then get the size bigger. They've just got like a little ruched waistband, a thick waistband, and they're just a little leather short. They've got pockets. I'll try those on in a second, but I've got a top to show it with you. So you're gonna have to excuse this because it's just been washed because I literally wore it the other day, but I ordered the shorts to go with this top, which is also from Fourth and Reckless. Obviously needs a severe iron because it's just been washed, like I said, but I just wanted to show it you. So it says, what does it say? Fourth Studio Off Duty Club. I swear these t-shirts are like 20 pound maybe, which is really good. It's not see-through, it's really nice quality. So when I borrowed Lauren the outfit, she wore this with the shorts and some heels. Imagine some black heels with this on holiday or anything. And then I also have this top as well from the same brand, it says Paris. I feel like it'd be too much Paris if I put the hat on as well. But even with that tucked in, shall I try it on quickly and show you? Right, the shorts are on. How nice are they? Imagine this outfit just with the vest. Took over a blazer. <gasps> and my fluffy Birkenstocks. Stop it. And the hat, and the hat, and the hat. Let me tilt you down. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Look at this. These are my favorite kind of videos to film. I love doing my regular hauls, but I don't always love everything. Whereas this is the stuff I've bought, I've kept, I've worn, and I genuinely recommend. Right, let me pop on. I'm just gonna put one of these on. What size did I get? 12, so I got both of these in a size 12. Normally, I would go for like a large in t-shirts, but one size up in these is perfect because they're already a bit oversized. This could do with a little iron as well, but I've tucked it all in and then pulled it out a little bit. Heels, oh, the black sambas and the blazer. Chuck it over, some black sunglasses, little black handbag. Can you see what I mean? Like for the price, they are a really nice t-shirt. They're so soft. I really love the quality. Um, and yeah, this one as well makes such a nice outfit. So I would recommend having a look at this brand if you don't normally shop there. Because it's nice to mix it up a little bit sometimes. Also, when I went into Selfridges, if you've watched my jean video, you will have seen this. I It caught my eye. They were a 50% off Levi's sign. I don't own anything from Levi's, but I really wanted a pair of jeans which is what inspired me to do the jean video. So check that out if you need a good pair of jeans because there's a few dupes for this one. 50% off the classic 501 style. So I got them for 50 pounds instead of 100. I've got a size 31 by 30 because it was the only one really left on the shelf apart from like a 20 something. I probably wouldn't even fit one leg in that. Um, so they're basically just a nice light blue wash straight leg pair of jeans they are a little bit looser around my waist but like i say every time i'm more of a comfort girl i'm not going to wear something if it's too tight i feel uncomfortable in it and i feel like you look a lot nicer when things are a little bit big or they fit nicely rather than being too small because it's just not very flattering so i'll just put this on with this top just so you can see the fit and this is just the fit of the jeans how perfect are they like they are a little bit loose. I think I've gone up about two waist sizes, maybe one and a half. Because like I said, I'm usually size 10. And I Googled, I think a size 31 waist is a 12 to 14. So I think a 30 would have been fine as well. 
So I'd definitely size up because I feel like Levi's are probably a bit smaller fitting than like your pretty little thing and stuff. But they're the perfect pair of jeans. I will keep these forever. I feel like they're going to last so well and go with absolutely everything. When I went out a few weeks ago, I went out in Manchester and I needed like a night out outfit. Um, and I got this one. It's from Menia Devoir MDV. And it's basically like a leather bodycon dress. And it has this like satin wraparound skirt which ties around your waist. So let me pop this on and just show you how it fits because I felt so nice in this outfit. It was so comfortable, so flattering. And I was literally obsessed with it. So if you're going on a night out. Also, would a night out outfit video be your thing? Would you like me to film one of those? Because I've never really done... I'm more of a casual put together street style. That's my thing, I think. But if you wanted me to try and find out some nice night out outfits, then please do let me know because I could film that one for you. Just imagine it's a lot tighter around the back because it has a zip and then a clasp, but I can't zip it up by myself. I need someone to help when I'm home alone. But just so you can see the style, like how gorgeous is this? The quality of it is a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it's a classic dress. Like. I don't think I'll ever get rid of this out of my wardrobe. It's a little back dress, but it's just a little bit different than just having a plain one. I love the contrast between the two materials. I feel like this style of dress suits me, but yeah, really happy with this and I absolutely loved it. We've got like track suits and comfy stuff next. This is all I live in. So I wanted some nice quality day-to-day -day outfits because every day I'm in a track suit or a leggings and a hoodie. So I treat myself to some nice ones. Couture Club is where all of these are from. Never really shopped on there, but me and Liam went to Trafford Centre and I just thought, let's just pop in inside and have a look. They had 50% off. So two of these pieces are 50% off and the other one is at full price, but it's worth it. So this was the first one that I got, which it's giving me sporty and rich vibes, which is obviously a lot more expensive. I think I must have got this full, out, this full track suit for... 40 50 pounds obviously half price so this is what the hoodie looks like it's got some fluff on it i've bought some new blankets for the house and they're getting fluff everywhere i think i need to wash them again um it says resort and sport and it's like a charcoal gray with a little tinge of brown um and it's got the matching joggers which say the same just on the tracksuit there and i've gone for a size 12 in the bottoms and a 12 in the top so i'll have got the same in the cream as well so i'll try this one on first all right this is the first one on it is very oversized so if you prefer something to fit a little bit looser a, a little bit tighter sorry go for your usual size in this i've only sized up one size and like it's very stretchy but i feel like after a few washes and stuff It'll fit perfect and I like everything to be loose anyway. Can we see the fit? It is such good quality for half price again. I can't fault it. I absolutely love it. And I live in stuff like this and I feel like a nice quality matching tracksuit just makes you look put together but you're so comfortable. Cute. Right, next one is a cream one. This material is different. This is thicker. And like, if you've got a Sisters and Seekers hoodie, you know, like the yoga hoodie, it's like thick. Like this one probably will need ironing after you wash it. I feel like this one you can get away with because it's like the more plump material. I don't know how to explain it. If that makes any sense then. Um, it's got the couture little brand in there. And then on the back, it's got it in the big writing. And also it has the matching joggers which are plain and it just says the couture on the side of the leg. This is how this one fits. Again, stunning quality, so comfortable. This with a trench or a big long teddy coat over, how stunning. When you've got a fresh tan as well, so it like pops against the white. But I can't fault this one either. Right, last thing I've got is, again, couture club. But we've got a sweatshirt this time and this stunning it's like a latte color it's got the little branding on there and then on the back it's got like the big version and it also has the matching leggings these leggings the quality of them what size did i get a 12 again um 
it's just like a plain legging and it's got this on the back of the waistband let's pop this on and then we're finished and this is the final outfit the colors are slightly different even though it does say the same color online the leggings are obviously a little bit lighter but they still look really nice together and with my fluffy Birkenstocks I think they look really cute but yeah that is everything that I've bought recently hope you've enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe it would mean the world and I'll see you in my next video